थैंक यू श्वेता अंजनाक्षी जो कि कर्नाटका से हैं मंच पर उन्हें आमंत्रण है कि वे भी कुछ कहें अपने उद्गार व्यक्त करें गुड मॉर्निंग ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिस्पेक्टेड मिनिस्टर्स एंड टू ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट हियर टुडे आई अंजनाक्षी स्टैंड बिफोर यू टू टॉक ऑन द टॉपिक कनेक्टिंग इंडिया जियोग्राफिकली इकोनॉमिकली एंड कल्चरली भारत इज अ यूनिक कंट्री इन मेनी वेज इंक्लूडिंग इट्स जियोग्राफी इट्स लोकेशन इज सच दैट इट इज सिचुएटेड इन द हार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट इज द हृदय स्थान हृदय कैन बी स्प्लिट एज हर प्लस द प्लस यम हर मीनिंग हरती दैट इज टू रूट आउट द बैड थिंग्स द मीनिंग द दाती टू गिव इट बैक एज गुड and yam meaning yati that is to revolve this is how the heart functions in our body and keeps it as one this is how bharat functioned in the past it took in everything and gave back all the good to the world and the world revolved around bharat and this is how we should function in the future also bharat is a country that is already geographically connected and we can make this connection stronger by laying down roads and connecting the various ports through programs like sagar mala and the golden quadrilateral and also the population could be more connected by assuring the population that wherever you go in this part of the country you will have equal access to all the facilities and still be treated as a children of this country the population what an amazing and dynamic population bharat has any country with good population will be empowered with a good human resource that is why the population of our country is the pride of our nation and that is why the population should be cultured what is cultured culture or sanskriti is something that is born from within which is why it has got to do nothing with caste creed or religion which is why we need more policies like the 10% reservation which is not on the basis of majority minority or cultural beliefs but just on the basis of common needs of the people that brings us together as one so when the population is one and when a sanskriti is established it leads to a good economy how the biggest problem that bharat is facing now is the economic disparity in terms of gdp in different states which again arises because of the different geography and culture of each state so when we bridge the gap between these two that even the most impossible and difficult policies like one nation one tax demonetization bringing down the black money becomes more easy to exercise and hence when a nation is geographically connected the population becomes one when the population becomes one a sanskriti is established with a good sanskriti we have a common code of conduct with a common code of conduct it becomes easier for the government to govern leading to an equal empowerment of all the states thereby leading to the equal empowerment of the nation when this happens despite staying in bharat nobody will have an anti indian thought you know no tukde tukde gangs and so you might ask me whether is this a possible idea in today's world and i would very proudly say yes and the best example that i can give to you is this very program the national youth parliament festival just like in the past how adi shankaracharya ji started from the south and connected the entire nation here we are from different nooks and corners of the country from different cultural backgrounds and yet sitting together as the new voices of india for a strong and a united bharat my dear brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters the world is looking at bharat like it had never looked at us before do you know why kyunki ye naya india hai ye kahi ghusega bhi aur marega bhi wherever we go wherever we go may it be in any fields economy technology terrorism wherever we go india will strike so hard that the world will not forget us any time soon so i call upon all of you to connect bharat to be a part of a stronger and a united bharat and as the late atal bihari vajpayee ji said our aims may be 